I'm going to recreate best ever Arsenal 11 using the Youth Academy only. We will go position by position, identify the best for that position in Ghana's history, and scout a youth talent as similar to that player as possible. We started from the back, from goalkeeper position, where we already faced a tough choice. Such amazing players like Peter Cech and Jens Lehmann had a chance to make our fantasy team. But I think the clear winner here should be David Simon with outstanding 541 appearances for Gunners. And we do have two decent candidates for this position in Rhys Jenkins and Jamie Noble. They look pretty much identical in terms of rating and potential. So let's choose randomly. The winner is Rhys Jenkins. I hope I didn't make a mistake here as the goal of this video is not just to win the championship. Champions League, which by the way Arsenal have never did, but to repeat Connor's invincible season, in my opinion one of the biggest achievements in football ever. But that is going to be extremely hard as I destroyed Arsenal's squad, released their best players and put them into the EFL League 2. To climb up divisions fast, we need to go big. That's why we are heading to Netherlands to scout for a new non-flying Dutchman. Dennis Bergkamp is one of the most technically gifted players I have ever seen. His playstyle was so elegant and unique, he could have been named as the best player in Arsenal's history, if not for a particular Frenchman. Let's hope Lawrence Janssen can live up to our hopes, cause he is an exceptional talent. 3.4 million market value, 80 to 94 potential. He is already 66 rated at the age of 17. I mean, come on EA, that's not how 17 years old looks like. This man could have easily been Janssen's father at least. Anyways, let's promote him to the senior team, as he would be a guaranteed starter for us. Next up let's scout in England for a defensive minded centre back to find our own Mr. Arsenal himself. Tony Adams spent his entire playing career of 19 years at Arsenal, making 672 total appearances and winning 4 English league titles. And I believe we have found a generational talent to represent Adams in our team. Brady Burton, mesmerizing 4.1 million's market value and up to 94 potential. Would you believe his rating? If I did not show you directly. He's already 70 rated. He must be the highest rated player I have ever scouted in FC24. Let's not waste a single game and promote him directly to the senior team. Next we are heading to Spain to scout for a playmaker center midfielder. Aged just 16 years and 177 days, Cesc Fabric has became the club's youngest ever first team player and broke another record later that year when he became the Ghana's youngest ever goal scorer. To create his incredible pass technique in our team. We chose this guy, Picasso. Guys, I double checked, it's not Pablo. Almost 1 million market value and up to 94 potential. Currently rated 59, he has promising stats, hopefully he can deliver for us in upcoming seasons. Next we have found this talent, Michael Underwood. 2.1 million market value and great potential as well. He is 65 rated center back, but I think we can convert him to a right back to represent Lee Dixon in our team. Dixon spent in North London, hugely impressive 15 years encapsulating 619 appearances, leaving him fourth in the all-time list for the club and securing his spot in our team. And we even managed to find third player as well from the same scouting mission in England. Arthur Armstrong, 1 million euros market price, he's 61 rated left back already at the age of 16. This means that we did find a replacement for Ashley Cole in our team as well. Three defenders for the main squad from the same three-month mission. That is extremely lucky and pretty impressive at the same time. Next up let's head to France to find the attacker striker for us. Broadly considered as the best player in the Premier League history, a player with an unbelievable flair, trademark moves like long range finesses and on top of that lightning quick. The one and only Thierry Henry was the main character of Arsene Wenger's theatre. But yet we have found only this guy, Antoine Guyou, 64 rated centre midfielder with low shooting and physical capabilities. He's not a good fit for Henri, but we can consider him for another role. A lot of Frenchmen represented Arsenal in passing decades and Robert Pires was one of the most influential players for Gunners, an icon for a club. So we are going to convert Guyou to a left midfielder, another player added to the first 11. Next player we have found is Tobias Jakobsen from Sweden, 900,000 market value and somewhat decent potential on him. He is a right midfielder, just like Freddy Jungberg, whom he is going to 
represent in our fantasy team. Slowly but surely the team is coming together. And meanwhile we approach the end of the first season. We got direct promotion from the first attempt, winning the league too. But we were out from the cup competitions quite early as expected. To be fair, 18 goal contributions for a 17 year old player is quite impressive. Great job from Janssen. He also went up by 5 in his rating and the other players did well in terms of growth as well. In the first season itself we added 8 players to the first 11. So 3 slots are still empty and we started scouting mission in the second season from the right center back position. And right away we found 2 talents. Daoud Akane from Ivory Coast, 59 rated center back with great pace and physical stats. He can represent in our team Kolo Toure who played 326 games in Arsenal shirt. We also have this guy Luka John, almost 1 million euros market value. He is a bit higher rated than Kane and will most probably be number one choice for us because he is representing Sol Campbell in our team. We are going to focus our scouting missions in France starting from now. We need two players from this country in our team and to scout for a new Thierry Henry this time I'm going to set instructions to find a winger striker. Let's see if it will do the job and I think we have found someone decent. Jérôme Paget. Price for a haircut of the episode goes to him instantly. 1.5 million market value and up to 94 potential. His natural position is center midfielder, 63 rated but with great dribbling and pace. So let's convert him to a striker. After conversion he went up by 2 in his rating. I assume we have filled our top priority position in the team. And to complete our first 11, we stay in France and scout for a physically strong center midfielder. A true captain and the leader of the Invincibles, Patrick Vieira, does have a crucial role in our system. So we need to find a good candidate to represent him. But after failing a couple of times, we have found this guy, Raphael Lemaitre. Decent market value and high potential on him. He is 6.5, which is a massive plus for him. Although he is only 54 rated and has only 50 defendant, I think we can develop him to a beast. So with this signing we accomplished our first 11. Let's fill the bench as well. And again starting with the goalkeeper position we have Mika Weiss to represent Jens Lehmann in our team. We also signed Diego Jose Cantero for Jose Antonio Reyes. Lance Bolton will be representing Ian Wright in our team. We also signed Ibrahim Alua for Lauren, Lucas De Vries for Mark Obamas and Carlos Silveira for Gilberto Silva. And after these signings our scout scouting mission is officially over. As well as the season in the EFL League 1 where we ended up only in the 11th position. And situation in the Cups was not good as well. In terms of goal contributions, Janssen was the main man again. Hopefully others will be more productive next season. Which we are starting with this lineup. Only one player remains from the originals. Anyways, let's get a direct promotion this season. As this team is more than capable to do so. And indeed, we absolutely crashed the League 1 with 102 points. But again, no success in the cup competitions to be fair. And finally, Jérôme Paget stepped up big time, becoming the best goal scorer of the team. The MVP of the season was Janssen once again. This was a successful season by all means and I expect back-to-back -back direct promotions. But we ended up only in the playoff spot in the championship, 5 points short of the second place. However, we beat Norwich in the promotion playoffs final to reach the Premier League. And we even made the FA Cup semi-final, where we'll see sadly eliminated us. This time Jérôme Paget outdone himself and Janssen. 42 goal contributions from a Frenchman. Janssen with 38 and Caillou with 33. The season of the dreams from our attacking players. And we desperately need a little bit of that magic in the Premier League next season. This team is ready to give a fight in the top flight. And as you can see, Cantero and Kane overtook the starting spots from Jakobsen and John. Pretty impressive from them. And that can be one of the reasons why we were so successful in the Premier League. Right away 7th place in the most competitive league in the world is something to be proud of. We also made the FA Cup quarterfinals but we lost to Leeds United. And again Janssen is on the top in terms of individual performances. Man this dude is already 91 rated. Such an amazing talent he is. Let's hope everybody else will elevate their game further so we can hope for our first trophy next season. Which we were extremely close to win. 
second in the league after Manchester City. We reached the semi-finals in the FA Cup once again, but Leeds United just can't help holding us back from this trophy. I bet you could have guessed it. Jérôme Paget overtook the leadership from Janssen in terms of individual performances. He even won the Premier League Golden Boot. Maybe next season we can fight for the title in the Premier League. And as the things stand, we do. We challenged Manchester City and took the trophy home. But still we had four losses in the season. So the invincible challenge is still on. But let's check the Champions League. We topped the group with 16 points. We eliminated Barcelona on penalties in the round of 16. Got past Inter as well and beat Liverpool in the semis to sneak through to the final. Where of course we are going to face Manchester City. Again usual suspects did the job for us. Bajet with incredible 47 goal contributions in 54 games. But to be totally honest, I don't think our team is capable of pulling this off. Although we have 96 rated Janssen, but especially in the middle of the pitch, our players are still kind of low rated. Anyways, let's see what will happen. The truth is, we gave a real fight to Manchester City, but we lost on penalties. I am very proud of our season. Let's continue to develop and soon enough we are going to be on top of the European club football. But the next season was not as successful as I was hoping for. Although we gathered all the domestic cups we could, we failed to win the league and got eliminated from the Champions League quite early. And no good reasons for that, as our players just recorded goals and assists for fun. But we go again. This time we are first in the league, but again 6 losses along the way. Challenge is not completed yet. Manchester City won 2 titles against us and of course got yet another Champions League trophy. Again no issues with scoring goals, I guess we just need to concede less. And we go again, another league title, this time with only 4 losses and again mission is still incomplete and no UCL final for us. So we go again. This time we lost the league to City, with 4 losses during the season, not good enough and I am worried that we are going to simply run out of time. But on the contrary, we made the UCL final again, where we are matched up against Real Madrid. If we work hard not to concede a lot of goals, I think we are good to win it. And our goalkeeper was the best player on the pitch by far in the first half, with a lot of amazing saves. However, even his enormous efforts was not enough to keep the goalless score till the half time. In the beginning of the second half, we created an opportunity to equalize the score and literally the first shot on target made the difference. We got yet another brilliant chance on a break with Cantero near the end of the game to win the whole thing but somehow he missed from the killer position. But you know guys, we got a 99 rated player in our squad and he completed our winning attack of the game with a huge tap in. We indeed won the Champions League with Arsenal, the first in clubs history. But we need to go invincible in the Premier League. That was the main aim of this video. So we go again and again and again till May 2037. We won the league, this time with 98 points, 30 wins, 8 draws and staggering 0 losses. Yes guys, we did it. The invincible challenge conquered. 14th season was lucky for us. If you want more of this content, click here to watch me rebuilding best ever Barcelona 11.